gon' give it to ya Fuck way for you to get it on your own X gon' deliver to ya What's up nerds, welcome back to Tea Time with your favorite software engineer. Today I'm going to be going over verifying an alien dictionary, but first I just wanted to talk about the Leco competition I'm hacking in my Slack channel. Uh, we do it every month and uh, here's the spreadsheet. So we just keep score and whoever wins at the end of the month, um, I give them $10. We want more people to join. It actually gets um, everyone to do a lot of problems. I mean, we're doing like some people are doing 14 problems a week. So it's a great way to prepare for interviews. Anyways, back to the problem. So this is an easy problem, but it, it, it like, it's disguised as an easy problem, but it's probably more of a medium. Um, a lot of people struggle for this one. So it's got a lengthy description, but in an alien language, uh, surprisingly, they also use lowercase letters, but possibly in a different order. The order of the alphabet is some per permutation of lowercase letters. Given a sequence of words written in the alien language and the order of the alphabet, return true and if and only if the given words are sorted lexicographically in this alien language. So they give us, here's the words array they give us, and here's the order. So they're saying H is like their A, since it's the first position, and the L is like their B. And then I believe the rest are just in order, except they're like two behind. So, um, and then we just want to see if the first one is lexicographically uh less than yeah less than the the words following it so um h does become before l so this is true um and this one would be false because well you got world world oh i believe w where is this one wrong D comes after L in this language. Oh, because this one's um, D comes after L in this language right here. So when it's comparing this D to this L, it returns false. And then we also have to account for a weird case where um, the second word is like shorter than the, it's equal up to the end and then it's shorter. So this one's actually lexicographically greater than, so we would have to return false. So there's like three scenarios um, where we return true. They are lexicographically in order. Um, false if they're like in this scenario where they're lexicographically not. And false where um, they are up to a certain point. And then the end, the first uh, word is greater than the last, um, than the second word. So we'll account for all the scenarios. But first, the first thing we want to do is convert it to their um alphabet into uh like the numbers that it equals so like the indexes so we're just going to loop through int i equals zero let's just loop through um the order and then so we're gonna just create a int array Int because we're storing the just the position. So this is going to be the H is going to be equal to um, one. So it's just going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to store um, 26. So new int. And um, actually, I'm just going to do order dot length. It's more secure and correct. And so that's the, just the um, Oh, no, we didn't even fill it in. I'm sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. So now we have to do alphabet of, and we want to get uh, car, uh, car, no, it's word. No, it's order dot, um, so we have to put order dot car, uh, yeah. So order, because order is a string, so we're getting the car at I. And I cut that off early. So we could do it just co that car at I. Um, but we would have to increase the um, size of the actual array. Um, so you could multiply or dot length by itself to do that. But if we're doing it... Um, 
order dot length, we have to subtract the actual a character to give it. So what the if we subtract a, it basically if you look at ASCII table, it brings you back to like uh, one through twenty six, which is what we need. And then we just set it to I saying that this character equals one, one or two or three or four, whatever position we're at in I. Um, so that's that for setting up the order. That basically converts their alphabet to um, the lexicographical positions we need to now compare. So the next thing we want to do is I don't feel like we need to whiteboard the rest of this out. Um, I feel like I can just explain it and go. It won't take as long. So let's convert it real quick. I plus plus. And int alphabet equals new int order dot length. And oh, this is um, this is not supposed to be in the for loop. Okay. Alphabet, and then we're just going to take the order that car at I. And like I said, we could just leave it there, but we'd have to increase the um, size of this. But if we want to keep it smaller size, we just the correct way is minus A to set it to the smaller to like one through 26. And so now we just um, string we have words is a string array. So we want to loop through, we're going to compare the first word to the second, third, all of them, then move the it to the the pointer to the second word and compare it to the rest. So we know we're going to use two for loops. Um, so for int i equals zero, i less than words dot length. And so then our second for loop, so this is our outer for the outer words j equals i plus one so that's a typical what we typically have to do when we're doing two for loops is i plus one in the second for loop uh words dot length j plus plus and so we have that set up um <clears throat> so we know we're going to want to loop through why do i keep doing that We know we're going to want to loop through um, the characters in the smaller word, all the characters in the smaller word. We don't want to do the um, bigger word because then we'd have an out of bounds error. So we have to create a min of the smallest um, word that we're comparing. So it's going to be math.min of words of i dot length. And then let's, it's the other one is going to be words of j dot length okay and so now we're going to just loop through use um, a pointer k and it's going to be less than min because we just want to loop through the min length of either of the two words that we're comparing and um, so now is our three test scenarios so um, the first is if well first we need to grab the characters sorry i got ahead of myself so car i equals words of i dot car at k so this is just grabbing the eighth letter in words of i and then same for car of car j so words j dot car at uh, k so now we have the um three if statements we're going to want to check so we're going to use alphabet and we're going to check for car i so we're just checking if since alphabet is the basically the let lexicographical order of the alien dictionary um so we're checking to see if car i is less than and we want to subtract a just to keep it consistent with how we numbered it um and so it's, if it's less than uh, car j minus the value of a, then we just want to break out um, of this for loop and move on to the next set of words. 
because we know it's basically true, but we need to see that it's true for all possible combinations. That's why we don't return true. Else if, and let's do the same thing, but just reversed and with a false. So car I, oops, car I minus A is greater than alphabet car J minus A. Um, if that's the case, we just want to return false because that means um, we don't want the first word that we're comparing to be greater than the second word. And then finally, we have our um, last statement where it's this scenario where this word is less than or this word is greater than due to its length. Um, it equals it up to the end of the smaller word. So if k equals we want to do k equals min minus one um because k is zero index for that so we need to do minus one hopefully that makes sense and then uh r or um k equals min minus one and the word word uh i dot length is greater than so words of i is greater than the length of it is greater than the length of words of j and if that's the case we just want to return false as well And then if we finally get through all the words and we don't return false, we want to return true because that means we constantly hit break and they're all lexicographically sorted in lexicographical order. So let's just go ahead and run this. I know this one was kind of long, order dot length. So I forgot my parentheses. Words dot length. Oh, J less than. Cool. So this works. Um, you get 100% and okay on the memory. I think my catch is full anyways. So the one thing I wanted to show you guys is that you can actually take these out and times, but we just need to create a, give it more space. Um, so you don't actually need to subtract A like a lot of these solutions show. It's just um conserving space so obviously it's a better solution but I'll, that's not the the premise behind isn't isn't that it's required which i think some people actually think so that still works it's just using more space um because if you don't increase the space it'll go out of bounds because if you think about it um we're setting it equal to this and that's why we subtract a to bring it back through to one or zero through 26 and so let's just go over the runtime real quick. So it's O of N squared. We just have two for loops. And um, the space is just however big this array is. So uh, the si it's basically the size of order. And that's all I got for you guys. If you guys enjoyed this and you learned something, smash that like button. And I'll see you in the next video. Yeah!